G'day, I'm John Hogan. This is part three in the series, How to Secure Your Pontoon. So we've already talked in the first part about um, use of a cable pontoon and, uh, or a seabed anchor. In the second series, we talked about strut pontoons or a subsea tethering arrangement. This one is the granddaddy of them all, heavy duty piles. So a pile is simply a post that is erected into the seabed with enough embedment to ensure that it will stand straight and tall for its design life. And it has to have enough strength to resist the forces of the vessel and the pontoon from any current or wind, which is usually the worst, the wind on the sail area, floods or anything that occurs to that structure, it needs to hold that floating unit in place. Now, piles can be anything that will stand up and take that. It can be an I-beam of steel, it can be a pipe, it can be um, pretty much whatever people desire. Most commonly we use a spun concrete pile that is hollow in the centre with a jetting tube. They are widely used in the industry. They come in sizes of uh, 350, 400, 450, and they are designed with different amounts of steel in them for more or less strength. You can also use steel, which it can also be dialed up for the application, and oftentimes that has a black polyethylene sleeve over it to make that uh, corrosion in the steel inert because we eliminate all oxygen from around the steel so long as that sleeve is properly embedded. These piles are really the way to use a floating pontoon if you have a larger unit so if you're over 8 or 10 metres we'd say it's time to start looking at piles and if you have an expensive vessel that you want to know is well looked after we definitely recommend a piled install floating pontoon as the best option for your investment. Talk to you later. All the best. Happy boating.